So we're just heading out to soccer right now. I like to get an indoor soccer game in once a week. The first thing I said when I, when I did my first bodybuilding show was that I wanted to look a certain way. Like I wanted to look and have that aesthetic physique, that strong physique, but I also wanted to be strong and I wanted to be athletic. And that's why I keep playing soccer and I keep pushing myself with uh, different exercises in the gym and different training methods, things like Tabata and intervals. These are all techniques that enhance performance. During every phase of this Freak Mode 12 week trainer, you're gonna be performing HIIT cardio and a core circuit between your weight training workouts on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can do the HIIT cardio portion of this workout on a treadmill, elliptical, rower, bicycle. You can even do it in the pool. You can do it on a track. You can do it around your house. You can do it in your backyard. The point is, to get the parameters right. I'm gonna do my HIIT cardio today on a cycle in the gym. If I feel very stiff before attempting a HIIT workout, like the one I'm gonna do today on this cycle, I just like to roll out and break up some scar tissue, loosen things up. Because I'm giving you two forms of HIIT cardio for this program on Tuesday and Thursday, I recommend that you utilize them both. What I do is, on the Tuesday, for example, I do HIIT cardio where I do 30 seconds of work followed by 30 seconds of rest. And you're gonna repeat that for up to 12 minutes at a minimum. You can gradually progress up to 20 minutes as a maximum. Because if you're doing this right, 20 minutes is all that you're gonna be able to do of HIIT intervals. When you're doing HIIT cardio on this program, I need you to go 85 to 90% of your max intensity when you're working. When you're resting, you can lower that intensity level to 50% or in some cases, complete rest. It's up to you. I'm using a spin bike, but if you're using another stationary bike at the gym, it probably has a clock on it that you can look at. So I'm just gonna make my own here, which is what I usually do. On the Thursday, Tabata style. For your Tabata intervals, you're gonna be going full tilt for 20 seconds, followed by 10 seconds of rest and repeating that for four minutes. And some of you may be saying, four minutes isn't enough for me. Well, give it a shot first, try it out, see how it feels, because if you do it right, I guarantee you, you will be destroyed after four minutes. But by all means, if you have more in you and you wanna go longer, then repeat that cycle again, do it for eight minutes, do it for 12 minutes, do it for 16 minutes, and if you have the guts, do it for 20 minutes. Here we go, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Let's go. So on your hit and core circuit days, I want you to start with your hit interval and get that done and out of the way when you have the energy to do it right because you're going to be putting everything into that hit cardio. That's why it's four minutes because you're going full tilt. When you've done that, you're gonna move into your core circuit. Now your core circuit is a combination of five simple exercises. And these are exercises that have been shown in studies to be the most effective at stimulating your abdominals, obliques, and lower back muscles. Here we go, first exercise is the plank. Get into that plank position on your forearms and go for 30 to 60 seconds. So what I'm trying to do here is pull my shoulder blades back and down, tighten up my core by vacuuming in my stomach, and of course, don't forget to breathe. This is one of my top core exercises simply because it's functional and it hits your abs, your obliques, your low back. That's it. All right, next exercise, we're gonna go into your side plank to really fire up those obliques. So I'm gonna reset my stopwatch here. I'm going again for 30 to 60 seconds. I'm gonna lay on my side. <clears throat> I'm gonna stack one foot over the other. I'm gonna get that forearm perpendicular to my body. 
when I'm ready. I'm gonna bridge up. And I'm gonna hold. So I'm trying to get that hip up because the higher I push that hip, the more I'm gonna feel it in the oblique muscle. Now it's 30. I'm gonna reset it. I'm gonna hit the other side now for another 30 seconds. That watch ready to go. And up. You can put your hand here, here. You can also add rotation with or without a dumbbell if you want to make it tougher. Next exercise I'm going to hit is my bicycle crunch. Cross the body, great movement for the obliques. Twist and extend your legs. The goal is not to touch your elbows to your knees, although if you want to, you can. The goal is to get full range of motion. All right, next exercise, set it up nice and tall. Knees up, 10 to 20 reps. If you wanna make it harder, straight leg. And if your abs are not burning by this point, then you're doing something wrong. You want to make sure that you adjust it to the right position. What I mean by that is you want to make sure that you're free to pivot from the hip joint. And so this has to be low enough to allow that range of motion. Full stretch. I want you to start with one circuit of doing these exercises back to back. So starting with that plank, going into that side plank, moving into the bicycle crunch, then the captain's chair knee raise, and finishing off that lower back extension. You're gonna go from one to five with little or no rest in between each exercise, and that's gonna be one set. That core circuit will have your abs, obliques, and lower back on fire. Once you become accustomed to that, you can increase to two rounds, and then finally to three rounds. I'm giving you alternate exercises for core, like the ab wheel rollout, the medicine ball twist, the bird dog extension, squeeze and extend as far as you can, and the reverse crunch. Lying on your back, tuck your hands under your butt, relax your lower legs down, and that pelvic tilt in. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you're doing hit and core circuit. On Saturdays, you're gonna be doing a traditional cardio session longer duration, so 20 minutes all the way up to an hour long, whatever you like to do. It could be running, biking, swimming. For me, it's playing a game of soccer. These guys are just gonna like, just tear me up right now. They don't give a shit. I mean, you know, I come into a soccer game and I'm like, I'm so sore from my leg workout still or my upper body's killing me. And they're like, come on, man, what are you talking about? Let's go. On Sundays, I want you to take a rest day. If you feel that you don't need that rest day, you can also do another day of steady state, longer duration cardio. The details for the HIT and core circuit days are broken down for you daily right here on bodybuilding.com. Remember to take your progress pics as you move through this program and post them tagging me, tagging bodybuilding.com because your progress photos are gonna inspire others to do exactly what you're doing, to get ripped, to build muscle, and to change their lives.